Hey everybody, it's Robert again. Uh, after my last video about the laptop repair where I had a dead pixel, I emailed uh, laptopscreen.com and they actually did a very quick cross shipment to replace that dead pixel. So I want to give a shout out to them. That was really great customer service. Super happy with that. Uh, so now I'm going to do another repair video. This one's going to be shorter. I'm going to speed through most of it. If you need more details, look at the last one, but I'll give you the basics here. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to install the new one that they shipped me and give you my initial impressions of the replacement screen. All right, first things first. So the issue again was, as you, well, as it's very clear now, I've completely lost the left side of my screen. Uh, I've had a lot of problems with the screens on these and the official replacement, so hopefully this one ends up being a bit better. First thing we're gonna do is get this new one open. All right, here's the new monitor. Uh, looks in pretty good condition. Nothing wrong with it immediately. Uh, so let's get to installing it. Like I mentioned in the last video, you need two things to complete this repair. You need a Phillips screwdriver and a pick or a credit card uh, for the purposes of popping this front plate off. So of course, the first thing you wanna do is turn off your computer. Not that I can use it right now. All right, let's go ahead and get the front face plate off. All right, so that's extremely easy. From here, there are just four screws that you need to remove. Uh, if you want to preserve the screen for whatever reason, I'd suggest putting something down flat here in case it falls out, but it shouldn't because it has some plastic uh, retaining stubs that it kind of seats onto, which makes screw it, unscrewing it and screwing it back in pretty easy. So now just go ahead and remove the screws. Take this off, pull it down this way. There's a kind of delicate cable attached to the back here. I think I can actually see where it was damaged now and why I needed a new one. So from here, there's a tab that sticks this little lever down to the back of it. You want to move that little lever right to the back of the plug-in. You want to pull straight back, not up. That should just Come undone easily like that. All right, so now we're gonna put the new monitor in. So first things first, line it up kind of like you did with that one, and then install the cable in the reverse way. You just did it with the previous one. So you wanna line it up with the plug-in, and then, and this time pull backwards this way with even pressure on both sides. All right, great, easy. And from here, you just seat it in the plastic brackets just like you did, just like when you unseated it from the old ones. And then you're just gonna wanna put the screws back in. Simple as that.
before you put the front panel back on, you're probably going to want to take off this protective coating. Because that tab would be very difficult to get at if it was underneath. All right, so now just do this in reverse. Make sure this cord is seated very nicely along here. This will make it easier to put the front panel back on. Try not to touch this as much as possible. And then this literally just snaps back on. Down here is sometimes tricky. Especially with the sensitive components that are down there. Ah, there we go. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. Did this fix it? Seems to be a rule that I have to hit that power button twice for it to come back on, strangely. And voila, oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I really hope you all found that helpful. Um, the laptop screen is amazing uh, and it was very reasonably priced. Once again, just like before, I did get a $20 rebate for doing this video. So I just wanna do that as a matter of full disclosure. This is not a, spon a sponsored video. Uh, in any other sense than that. I wasn't paid to do this or give a good review. Just like I said, I found a dead pixel with the old one, but the customer service response was great. So I can wholeheartedly recommend these guys. Uh, the screen's wonderful. It has saved this laptop, which had a very poor OEM screen. Uh, so yeah, go check it out, laptopscreen.com. I only imagine that the customer service will carry through to other products. Check them out, link's in the description. Subscribe if you want to hear more, uh, well, I do music, I do video games, and I do, and I guess I do these repair videos now. So I hope you found this helpful, and have a good day. Cheers.